everybody welcome to brit pop show it's me bp1 and bp2 uh we're a bit at the beginning of our sort of world cup journey uh world cup 2022 and we thought we'd share yep. with you the stadiums so obviously yes all new stadiums that were built in Qatar for the World Cup. Um, all of them are, I believe, within a 34-mile radius of each other. Um, okay, that's slightly different to a previous style of World Cups. World Cups, yeah, which is like all over the place. Mm. Uh, so we've got a little video here by StadiumDB.com. Okay. Uh, we're going to break down some of the stadiums, and we can have a look at them with you guys. Yeah. Uh, and see what we were like. going to do, originally, we were going to do um, all the drinks to drink during your World Cup. Um, yeah, all the top bevies. Fortnite for four weeks, but uh, yeah, all the top beverages to, you know. But far, we've only just heard it's been announced literally this afternoon. What did they say? No more, no alcohol to be served at the World Cup uh, venues. At all. Other than, I think if you've got a corporate box. Yeah. Wah, wah, so, wah. Yeah. There you go. Oh dear. Well, doesn't affect you and me because we'll be at home watching it and having a, a little. Tipple of our own. Tipple of our own, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get on to it. World Cups. Okay. Stadium Stadium presents Stadiums of the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Okay. Oh. Salam alaikum. This okay. year's World Cup is already around the corner. Well, it's it will here be now. the first it tournament is, yeah. of this scale to be played in the Middle East and therefore oh, right. the is. climate has forced the event to be moved to autumn. I know. The matches will yeah. take place in eight arenas in five cities. To yeah. mark the occasion, the editorial team of StadiumDB.com has put together a special a guide showcasing all the stadiums of the upcoming tournament. Okay. Oh, he's got a great the personality, this guy. The title will be yeah, defended indeed. by the French, and it remains to be seen whether Europe's 20-year dominance will be ended. Before okay. we start, we would like to ask you to support our channel by liking so the we. video and leaving like a comment video. below. Uh, Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you get a notification every time we post a new video. Meanwhile, right. get on your camel and join our caravan as we embark on a tour Good of on Qatar's camel. stadiums. Camel Ahmad bin um, Ali Stadium. Here we go. Capacity All right. 40,000. Okay. Al Royan. So this is England's third 40, game. It's hard England's to imagine okay. a better place for a first stopover. Ahmad bin Ali like Stadium Wembley, is situated in Qatar's second largest city. Due to its location and surrounding scenery, the venue is sometimes referred to as the gateway to the desert, and we eagerly enter the football no, world there's nothing through these there. gates. Oh, the the arena is covered there, with is interactive screens, which are obscured by a translucent woven metal curtain, okay. arranged in patterns inspired by Qatari culture. I mean, it looks the amazing. Outside, the stadium is also fair, surrounded by dune-like structures, amazing. housing the yeah, hospitality area. An interesting look cost. has also been provided on the inside. That looks the like new the stadium has the an Etihad unusual stadium, seating it? arrangement, forming a red and black mosaic. Most okay. intriguing are the stands behind the goals, where the seats form a pattern in the shape of lions' heads. This is a okay. reference. Ooh, look at that. This is a reference to S. Al Rahim's ST. Okay, yeah, I mean that looks amazing. I mean, it looks it does fantastic, yeah. but. The one thing that he hasn't said, which is on screen but you can't see it because of the um, captions, okay. is it's only 40,000. Capacities. Mm. I mean, and the, the, yeah. we'll, we'll see this as we go along, but 40,000, I mean... How many are you expecting to go, though? I mean, it's not like... I, I'd say the first thing, obviously, Qatar itself isn't big. No. How many how many locals are, are football supporters that would go? You know, whereas if it was, I suppose in the it's UK, a good point. Yeah, I mean, over know, here you could probably no... sell out a eighty thousand stadium every yeah. time for a World Cup match. But yeah, okay, I, I get the point. But it just seems a lot of work. Yeah, forty thousand. I guess if if you then look at future use for it to carry on being used, there's no point in having a eighty thousand seater and only. Selling forty, you know, only forty thousand people turn up on a on a match day or something. It would, it would just look ridiculous then. It would look True. like it was completely empty as well, wouldn't it? To the Al I mean, Rayyan SCT, I'm going to carry on just because yeah, yeah. whose nickname is we've seen what's happened with yeah. the South right. African Lions. Some of those um, Al Janoub you know, Stadium capacity forty thousand. Al Wakra 
Our genou. Our guide now leads us towards Ooh. the coast, where there is an extremely peculiar venue. This is Australia. The arena itself resembles. Be off here again. That's left France, for you to judge what exactly. Yeah, in I any mean, case, I can see we stick to the official interpretation, <laughs> according to which look. the designers were inspired mm. by the sea. From the outside, the roof domes like are the, uh, meant to resemble to the, uh, the From underneath, <laughs> they bring to mind the hull of a ship, while the seating creates a composition similar to sea waves. For centuries, yeah. the people of Al Wakra have been dedicated to both fish and pearl catching using traditional Hello? Delos sailing boats, which are characteristic of the region. The stadium is one of only two venues at the World Cup to be equipped with a retractable roof. The folded membrane is hidden in two places, under the fixed canopy above the stands behind the goals, from where it extends towards the main beam suspended over the center of the pitch. The Maritime Stadium will be the venue, like the rest of Qatari facilities, for six group stage matches and the round okay. of 16. Okay. Alpha Mama Stadium, capacity 40,000. 40, I Doha. mean, these things, they look so Heading north, attractive, north, don't west, they? And yeah. the skyline of Doha appears on the horizon. For extra Scenery like from 1,000 and 1 nights, isn't it? will stay longer in the capital as almost all the tournament stadiums are located in its metropolitan area. Look at that. 12 right. kilometers from the center sits another 40,000 seats. I mean, they put some the thought theme into of the them. unique Marvin, venue you know, they, is they the traditional Arab headdress, oh, known in wow. this area yeah. as the Gafia. The building resembles a Gafia through its exterior circular form with a perforated, lace evoking facade and a flat, ornate the white cost. roof. Yeah, I the mean, stadium I mean, was really... I mean, it, it, it it's perfectly round. Yeah. Which is odd. Even for normal football stadiums, you have it, and it's normally, you know, stretched because of the pitch. Yeah. I mean, this, just, just the roof alone, it's very odd. Mmm. be interesting to see what we see inside. If it can continue, because surely it can't continue to have that circle surely at the ends here you know if you go in here the pitch is going to continue to up here so it's not you're going to have some closer here than yeah interesting all right read it on the outline of a perfect circle the stands are divided into two tiers separated yeah, by a strip yeah. of okay. VIP seats the auditorium yeah. is also divided into two parts colors. in terms of the color of the seats yeah. On one side, they are green, and on the other, red. After the 2022 World Cup, the capacity of the stadium will be reduced to 20,000 yeah, seats 20, as a result of the removal of the upper level of the stands. Oh, wow. One of the World Cup quarterfinals will be played at the venue. Okay, quarterfinals. Education outside. City Stadium. Capacity, 40,000. Another 40,000. 40, yeah. We Probably. remain in the Doha urban area. Oh, hang the next on. Venue Look in the background here. Yes. You can see another one. Do you reckon it's like War of the Worlds? <laughs> no, no, no. You sort of look They're across just... the sort of because it's ever so flat. Well, yeah. There's one. There's another well, one. I mean, it said it was only twelve k's away from the other one, wasn't it? On one of them. So that, yeah, you know, we I can mean, see like that say, one there. Exactly. See another yeah. one there. So I think that's the Eiffel Tower in France there as well. Yeah, so the Eiffel Tower has managed miles. to make an appearance there. <laughs> Can see for um, miles here. <laughs> brilliant, yeah, you can see a long wow. way. So, like, like you know, they are they have sort of put some forethought into what's going to happen after the World Cup by reducing the capacities down, which is what we kind of said, you know, so it won't look quite so silly with with all those seating and nobody in there. Um, I mean, they, they do look impressive. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I was, you know, we remain in the Doho urban area. I mean, mm -hmm. looking at it, that's that one. They're remaining in that area, but you can see that's not that circular shape, is it? I mean, it looks like the no. in game that the England are going to... England's first game is in the Khalifa International Stadium, which I, I believe has got a bit of a funny roof. Okay. Um, all right, let's keep going. On our trail right. is located on the huge university campus home to as many as eight international higher education institutions, hence its name. The closed, angular shape of the stadium is meant to evoke a diamond. This is the light motif of the arena, also known as the Desert Diamond, 
thus right. alluding to the rich design of Arabian architecture. The roof is covered with metallic panels. Metallic the facade panels. is made up of rhombus-shaped elements. I mean, it and does their look amazing. Change it depending does, yeah. on the angle of the sunlight. At wow. night, the facility look can also that. be illuminated. The auditorium has been divided into three levels. The uppermost of these will be mostly dismantled after the tournament, okay. leaving around 25,000 seats. The rest right. of them will be donated to developing countries. One quarterfinal game will be staged here. Okay, Once cool. again, we would like to seats. encourage you to subscribe to our channel got. and hit thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Remember exactly. to click the bell button as well. By doing Remember, so, um, you won't miss any of the future content and will help our stadium project grow. Remember in the, the Khalifa uh, International Stadium, Japan World Cup, and there was one of the stadiums, weren't there, where the, the whole of the ground, the, the pitch came outside and all that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah, some, some clever pitches. stuff. You know, I mean, this one here again, this looks a bit sort of. Oh, this is the Al Rayan Stadium. So I, I believe this is Khalifa Stadium. Yeah, the this Khalifa is where the US, one. the US. If you're watching this, this is where I believe. Oh no, hang on. That no, that no, like, no, no, um... no, no. This is Khalifa International Stadium. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So the Khalifa first one there. we did, the yeah. first stadium, we, that's where the US will kick off. Okay. Um, Australia will kick off with the Al Janoub, the one that you said looked like a woo, or the entrance, the entrance to. to... <laughs> And England will kick off here at the okay. uh, Khalifa International Stadium. All right, let's keep going. 40,000. It's a bit sort of Wembley -ish, new Wembley. There is no denying that oh, the look, World Cup organisers are not oh, making it easy one. for us it's to rug the tournament so again, you know, this, this is, a bit this is the fifth Wembley stadium with the, with the, the same capacity. Like yeah. And we should yeah. mention that the next one will not hold more spectators at all. But there's no need to dwell too much about it. 40, 000, so let yeah. us get back to the point. Khalifa International Stadium I mean, is the oldest the part, venue in the World yeah. Cup roster and okay. the only one that was not built from scratch. The oh, arena okay. opened in 1976 wow. and was expanded between 2003 and 2005 in preparation for the 2006 Asian Games. During the 2014-2017 upgrade, the East Stand was enlarged. There was also a completely new roof covering all stands and new yeah, arches running above it. Yeah. It is the only Qatari tournament stadium to have an athletic truck. For of football course. matches, yeah. the circuit is covered with carpet. Seats the in the arena beautiful. are in the national colors, white and maroon, with gray added for a more interesting effect. On nice. the upper tiers of the auditorium, the only thing, the pitch, like I say, with, they are arranged the in the characteristic triangles. There were quite a few old familiar ones from the like Qatar one, flag. The, with the, the venue the will play host to the match for third place. The there, Stadium you? You know, 974, capacity yeah. 40,000. Doha. 974. We know a lot about this one. The next on our list is located right on the coast of the Persian Gulf. Wow. Of particular okay. note is its unusual <laughs> architecture, which All from right. a distance gives Look the like impression Lidl's. of having been built from Legos. It is the first temporary stadium in the history of yeah, the World Cup, cargo built boxes, specifically for the event. Cargo, they are a large shipping number containers. Of steel yeah. elements, prefabricated components, and recycled shipping containers like were used to Hampton. build the arena. The choice of materials and the temporary state of the venue allowed costs to be significantly reduced. Okay. Most interesting is the use of containers, which proved to be an innovative solution for mm. the construction of such a large stadium. The huge okay. boxes are reminiscent of Doha's seaport traditions. There are exactly 974 containers used in the structure, a number which is no coincidence. It is, right. after all, the area code for Qatar. After the tournament, the facility will they? be demolished and the site transformed into a green area. Al Bayt Stadium, this capacity 60,000. 60,000. Al Khor. Ooh. We find ourselves the in the final? northernmost stadium uh -huh. of the World Cup. After such a long uh -huh. trek, it seems we could not have come to a more suitable place as a caravan oh, like a tent in front of a yeah. gigantic tent. Yeah, yeah, the stadium exactly. has been encased in an original facade connected to the roof, the shape of which sets the theme of the venue. 
a traditional Bedouin tent, Bedouin the so-called Bayt yeah. al-Shah, hence the name. The exterior is white with horizontal black stripes running Very all old. around, symbolizing the tribes and families that used similar structures. The mm. tent surrounding the stands was created on a rectangular plan and its dimensions exceed the size needed to cover the auditorium. The venue is the second oh, arena wow, of the championships Inside, yeah, to feature yeah. a retractable roof. The seats in the auditorium are predominantly red and the color scheme is enhanced by black horizontal stripes with traditional Bedouin sadhu patterns. This motif is also repeated oh, in the interior that. decoration yeah, of the smart, stadium. Hey. Do you get a beer in there? The opening the ceremony there. and the first Definitely match of the tournament, there. which will take place on November the 20th. The so that's the first match. So that yep. is Qatar versus Ecuador um, here. Yes, indeed. So that'll be good because obviously they have the sort of opening ceremony, don't you, a little bit, which isn't yeah. too over the top, but we'll see what happens in uh, okay. Qatar. So, yeah. All right, we got uh, a couple left, I think, maybe, looking at that. Maybe okay. one, maybe one more left. Um, we'll keep going. So he's just about to tell us what other matches are going to be played here. Host rival will be Ecuador. In addition to the group matches and one well, round of 16 game, there will also be a quarterfinal and a semi-final stage. And a semi. So I think oh, we're going to just about right. see the stadium. 80,000. This is where the final is going to be. The final Again, stop on our tour wow. is one of the largest stadiums sort of like in the, the Middle East, the venue for the second semi-final and the grand final of the World Cup. The facility wow. was built on the outskirts of the capital in the futuristic city of Lusail. The architectural mm -hmm. concept is based on local folkloric motives. The form it's of the building huge, is it? reminiscent it like a of a traditional yeah, yeah. form. And the triangular patterns on yeah. the golden facade were inspired by lamps formerly used in Qatar. Okay. In addition, the roof membrane has been shaped to create a bird's eye view ornament made up of numerous rhombuses. Or the 45,000 square meter roof is one of the largest wow, of its kind in huge. the world. The stadium's high stands are divided into One, only two, two three, tiers. Four, five, Each has six an tiers. internal division yeah. into. I said two tiers, but look here on the right hand side. One, two. Class that under three, four, five, six. One. I mean, it's a lot of seats. Are they seat individual seats? Yeah, they gotta be. But look, look at the yeah. pattern on them. Oh, Zigzag yeah. pattern. Put on the outside. So of ever so lightly inside. changed colour. Clever, aren't they? Okay. Very deep. How? Yeah, I mean, it does look nice. I say, it does, sort of reminiscent of the, the Bird's Nest Stadium a bit, wasn't it? Um, mm. I thought. Well, uh, cut final going to be here. Looks, looks good. To improve communication and offer optimized positioning of pedestrian walkways or places for the people with disabilities. The final okay. concept was fast, kept eh, secret for a long yeah. time I was and was made them. public when construction was already at, at an advanced stage. <laughs> After I mean, the World if you, Cup, if you got the all that there, you're hardly going to be reduced to 40,000 yeah. spectators. It's a lot for 90 minutes. The caravan managed to yeah. happily reach the end of the voyage. Qatar is a fascinating and beautiful country. There we go. Hmm. I think that, I mean, it, it, there's no denying how good it looks. Yes. But I will mean, it have they, yeah. the tradition of. The atmospheres, that's the thing, you know, I mean, World Cup Italia 90 for me was, was, you know, unbeatable just because of the, you know, the stadiums that they were playing in were yeah. legendary, you know, they got their own yeah. legendary status. Or got their own history and, and you know, thing, you know, as just, saying, There was an atmosphere about it. Is this going to be too clean cut? Well, I mean, uh, the Japan one, that was impressive, wasn't it? Because they all cleaned up the litter on the way out. That that was memorable oh, yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah. South African World Cup, memorable for all the Voo wrong reasons. Zaylers, yeah, couldn't Awful even hear the one. commentators, could you, on that one? No, that was bad. So is this, I mean, what you need is the atmosphere and the fans to turn up and be enjoying themselves. And at the moment, it just sounds like they're making it a downer, don't they? You can't drink, segregation, you know. I mean, we all know that football fans yeah. can get a bit rowdy if their team wins, like to go out and have a bit of a laugh and get lashed up if it's if it's all too policed and formal then people are going to be a bit wary about 
enjoying it, I think. Mm. Well, let's see. Uh, let's, let's see how we get on. Obviously, yeah. make sure you hit the subscribe button. Come with us at Rip Pops React. Yeah, we'll be we'll, here we'll throughout the World along. Cup. Uh, we'll give you some points, whatever's going on, whether it's football, whether it's not football rate, right, whatever it is to do with the World Cup. And, yeah. We'll uh, try and uh, do some highlights on that throughout. Let's try and do some highlights, trying to find stuff. some uh, topical stuff, some, uh, some humorous stuff as well. And um, yeah, just follow it along with you guys out there with Brilliant. a drink. <laughs> yeah, get a bevy. Uh, until tomorrow for another reaction from us it's goodbye from me goodbye from him mm. so about that uh, entrance way nice. yeah I mean he's a 20th century boy